Eric. Hi, um, we've been waiting for news on Scott McTominay and Manuel Ugarte for a couple of days now. I know there's not been any official announcement, but can you update anything yet? Yeah. Um, it looks like you know you know everything. So, <laughs> yeah. So Simon, I can't tell you more than you already know, and so it's not completed yet. Um, but the deadline closes at 11 o'clock, so presumably I know. you expect it to be completed. Yes, we expect it, but I can't confirm it by now. Can you also update what the situation is with Jaden Sancho? Yeah, he is um, playing our squad and well, we are happy with him. And we need a good squad. We need depth in the squad. Uh, we have to play many games uh, till January. Um, so the, the new format of, of Europe. Uh, so after the break, we will play every third game. So we need uh, absolutely options. And so you expect him still to be here after this evening? Uh, as I know, yeah. Nice. Eric, what's the latest with Rasmus Hoyland and when can we expect him back in first team training? After the break, but when after the break, uh, I think, yeah, it's three weeks from now and we have to see how it develops, how we can progress uh, in the, uh, during the break uh, to, to get match fit. But so he, he returned on the pitch, but yeah, it will take a while before he's up uh, because uh, everyone have seen happens in the first game. So you need also uh, co-op and build some fitness. I know you can't confirm anything, but you would have seen the scenes yesterday of Scott McTominay at Naples Airport getting a very warm welcome by the fans. Was that a nice thing for you to see? Massive smile on his face, him being so welcomed so quickly? Um, it's a little bit mixed. Uh, I'm very happy for him. And um, it's also for us. Uh, because, but it's mixed because uh, I wouldn't prefer to, to lose him uh, because he uh, is Man United in every vein. He was so important for uh, our team, for Manchester United. He was here for over 22 years. But uh, unfortunately, it's the rules and uh, we have to discuss the rules when yeah, you have to do, do sales and then obviously homegrown players so academy players, yeah, they bring more value and that's not the right thing to do. But yeah, I think uh, for everyone, for all parts, it's, it's a good deal for Scott. He's happy with it. Uh, for, of course, for Napoli, a very good player, but also for us. Eric, looking ahead to this weekend then, what is the team news heading into Liverpool? What do you mean with team news? You want to you wanna have a lineup? I, in an ideal world, yes, but I don't think you're going to give us that. Um, are we looking at the same again, or do you have more options this weekend? No, we have. Uh, so Mason Mount, we all have seen, uh, he's not available uh, for, for the weekend. And then, yeah, that's, I think that's it. And for the rest, it's the, the same squad as last week. With Liverpool in mind, obviously you had two good games against them at Old Trafford in the League and Cup last year. Is it a tie that excites you coming so early in the season and what differences have you already seen in the way Anna Slot lines up his team? It's, it's always when Liverpool comes, it's, it's very exciting. And we are really looking forward uh, um, to compete with them. Um, so we have, a, we have a good squad, we can bring a good team out. Uh, of course, it's early in the season, uh, we have to progress, we have to improve. Uh, also because we have to integrate uh, some, some new players in. But yeah, we are really looking forward uh, for this game. Uh, Neil, uh, what are you getting with the new player that you maybe didn't have with Scott? Why have you sort of made the change? Uh, with the new player? If, to make a change, I think you can't... I don't... Uh, I, it's not a comparison. It's not uh, that you can compare those two players because they are different players, but... Uh, so we had three number 10s and we didn't have um, any more holding midfielders uh, apart from uh, we had one so uh, that is the idea behind Samuel and Eric Damascher has said that the UEFA draw regarding the transfer window let's see what happens the window is still open we have some conversations going on D do you think there'll be any more incomings or do you think 
the next player will be the final player to come in. That's what Dan has what said everything. So I, I, I don't have to, um, uh, to go into this because it's already set. So I think we always look for opportunities to, um, to bring out the best squad we can have. Just this weekend, Mar Marcus Rashford's got a very good record against Liverpool, but he, he had some criticism from Alan Shearer last week. You, you took him off just after um, Ahmad scored. It, is he is he lacking confidence? I know you said a couple of weeks ago he wasn't, but he's, he's had some good chances this season, not taking them. Everyone gets criticism huh, from you guys. It doesn't matter what we are doing. If we are winning, if we are losing, uh, if I take a player off, and, and it's a conclusion, I'm not happy with him. I was very happy with uh, Resi uh, in, in pre-season against Fulham, also against Brighton. Um, it was not uh, why uh, because, uh, that I took him off because his performances or his level was not right. No, we have to rotate and we have good players on the bench as well. You bring new energy uh, to win the game and there will be a rotation. And that if then there's the conclusion a player is not performing, can be sometimes, but definitely it wasn't in this case. So uh, stupid analyze in this case from a pundit. Hi, Eric. Um, you've talked about the no good culture that you inherited when you first came here and all the work that you've had to do behind the scenes and the work that continues to go on with the structure and everything. With regard to Liverpool, do you think in a way Arne Slots had it easier than you coming into a club that finished third, the structure was already in place, the players were there. Has he had it easier than you to sort of slot in? Whereas you've had to do so much more work behind the scenes to get this, this squad and this club back to where you want it to be. Uh, that is that's why I, that was one of the reasons I want to come here to have this challenge. I knew on forehand this is most difficult what I could ever do in life. And to come in a club where are uh, a lot of problems which we had to sort uh, because I, I inherited a history from... Uh, from six years, no trophies. And that meant that the dressing room, the qualities uh, were not right. So we, we have to build, we had to construct, we had to, uh, to uh, perform and to bring up a higher level. And uh, we did this well, with uh, transfers, but also we did it by bringing academy players into the team. And what you see now, uh, we have, uh, we brought new players in, but many young players and we are in a life cycle uh, on the start and we are still in this transition stage we have young players uh, and now we have to make a team from it but we have young players uh, some we brought them in young players uh, the academy players and now we have to construct a team for the future Lot hasn't had that challenge has he so far he's just inherited a great team that... it, yeah but I'm not here uh, to talk for him, uh, but Liverpool uh, is clear. They are in a different uh, phase of the life cycle. Uh, they have uh, they have a team was mature. Uh, they have so players already who are long together, playing long together, and who are very experienced. And we have much more a mix, and we have to build a new team. Uh, last question in this section, Chris. Hi, Eric. Do you think? Because of the job he's taking on, do you think it's it suits you to catch him early in the season to try and get him early in that that cycle um, that gives you more of a chance to win this game? We can always win. We also last year we won win in the second part of the season. But you're facing somebody obviously who that you know full well how how difficult it is coming into this country, and it's probably better to face him early rather than to face him in six months' time. Um, I'm not sure because, uh, as you say, they. There is a team and the structures are, uh, are really clear. Huh? Um, I think the players, the, the, the partnerships, the relationship in that team are very clear. And that is what he inherited. That is built over the past years. And, uh, and still things are still the same. But also I have seen some things already he brought in.